we will praise you from everlasting to everlasting. In Jesus' name we have worshipped. Can we put those hands together for Jesus? Hallelujah. You are God. You are not just big old. You are not just large old. You are a great God.
standing where we are standing. How many of us believe that before this year runs out, you will not be where you are today? Can I get a witness? If you know you want to move forward in whatever you are doing, be it in your job, in your marriage, in whatever, I want you to move forward, take that bold step and just move. this morning to be in the presence of the Lord. If you have no reason to thank God, you should thank Him because He has brought you to the 11th month. You are a living soul this morning. You walked in by yourself. They didn't carry you on stretcher. You are not bending to walk inside the church. I think it's worth it to give glory to God. Let's just go ahead and celebrate God. Just go ahead and celebrate Him. Just thank Him. Just thank Him in your own way. Just thank Him in your own way. Just thank him. Just give him praise. Just for about 30 seconds. Just go ahead. Just bless him. Just bless him. Just say thank you, Father. If not, nothing else, just thank him for your life. Thank him for your life. Thank you, Father, for keeping me alive. Thank you, Father, for keeping me alive. Thank you, Father, for keeping me alive. Thank you for keeping my family alive. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. At times we think um, some of these things are just routine, that we must just say some of those things. No, they are not routine. These are realities of life. Realities of life. When we say thank God for your life, you think you are the one sustaining yourself. You think because you know how to go to bed and how to wake up or how to sleep, what to eat, what not to eat. That's not what is keeping you alive. If God should just seize that breath for a minute, you are gone. That's it. 
So it's of his mercies that you are not that you are alive, that you are still living and breathing. Uh, people die every day, not even because they are sick. Some are not sick, they went out of their house and they didn't come back for whatever reason. So that's why we should forever be grateful to God. We should forever be grateful to God who has deemed it fit for you and I to be alive. If he chose that uh, someone sleeps last night and you, the person didn't wake up this morning, who will arrest him? Are you going to take him to Supreme Court or to whichever court? The person is gone and he's gone and there is nothing anybody can do about it. So that he permitted you and I to be alive, you should be grateful to him. You should be grateful. I know the problem of some of us. We are always thinking about what we are here to get what it is that has not become. That is what we are thinking. It's irrelevant. I always say to people every time, the reason why you still have that prayer request is because you are still living. The moment you breath your last, all prayer requests are gone. There is no prayer request again. Have you ever seen any dead man saying, tomorrow morning I need God to provide for me? No. It's because, so that you even have a prayer request is a testimony. That means you are still alive. It's only the living that has prayer requests. It's only the living. Those who are gone, they don't have prayer requests anymore. So somebody with a grateful heart, just go ahead and give God praise this morning. Just thank him. Just thank him. Not for anything else, but that he has deemed it fit for you to be alive. Just go ahead and give him praise. Go ahead and give him praise. Go ahead. Just thank him. Just thank him. Just thank him. Thank him. Thank him for your family. Thank him for your work. Thank him for your husband. Thank him for your wife. Thank him for your children. Just give him praise. Give him praise. Give him praise. Give him praise. Just give him praise. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Some traveled. They didn't come back. Some went out of the house. They didn't even travel. They didn't come back. Oh, you are here standing, hale and hearty. They didn't carry you on stretcher. They didn't carry you to church. They didn't support you on right or left. Uh, you walked in by yourself. You went to bed last night. You are alive this morning. You started January and you are here in November. Some people started January with you. They are no more. They are not here. Oh, glory be to God. It's not because you have not sinned. It's not because we have not made mistakes. But it's of his mercies that we are still alive. Lord, we give you praise. Lord, we give you praise. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your holy name. Lord, we celebrate you this morning. Lord, we celebrate you this morning. Thank you. He who has kept us this far is able and will also keep us to the end of the year. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. This month, the first day of this month, the man of God declared it as our month of favor. January 1, when we had prayers here for the beginning of the month, he said, this is our month of favor. And so shall it be in the mighty name of Jesus. He read, one Psalm 102, verse 13. It says, you will arise. God will arise for someone this month. And you will have mercy upon Zion. God will have mercy upon someone this month. Said, for the time to favor her. Yes, the set time has come. This is the time for somebody to be favored. In the mighty name of Jesus. It doesn't matter where you have been, what you have done. God will favor you this month. In the mighty name of Jesus, everywhere that judgment has been against you, judgment will be in your favor this month. In the mighty name of Jesus, so shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name. So in line with that word, anywhere you turn this month, favor will meet with you. Anywhere you go this month, favor will meet with you. People who will favor you, they are the people you will meet this month. In the mighty name of Jesus. Now quickly, we are going to pray from Acts chapter 12. We are going to pray as the Lord is leading us to pray this morning. Acts chapter 12. Against power that holds down and power that wastes life. Power that holds down and powers that waste life. In Acts chapter 12, Herod the king went ahead and he held James and killed him. And people were happy that that kind of thing happened. And so he went ahead again and he held Peter, seized him, arrested him. With the intention to kill him also. I need you to listen carefully. And when you listen, you listen with your spirit. There are some things holding some people down. Today marks the end. In the mighty name of Jesus. That amen sounds like amen from the village. Say amen like somebody living in the city. 
at least you are not fasting this morning. You have strength. So there are some things holding some people down. Today marks the hand in the mighty name of Jesus. It doesn't matter which power is holding you, any area of your life. Today, they will lose grip in the mighty name of Jesus. Today, they are losing their grip in the mighty name of Jesus. In verse 4, he went ahead not only to hold him, but to imprison him. God has anointed me to lose people who are in prison. Any form, any area of your life that is imprisoned. Today, you are loosed in the mighty name of Jesus. You are loosed in the mighty name of Jesus. Some are not just in prison, they are kept in prison. Verse 5, and he said, and he kept him in prison. Whichever area of your life that has been kept in prison, today marks the hand in the mighty name of Jesus. Today marks the hand in the mighty name of Jesus. And he went in ahead in verse 6, and he said, They held him bound with chains between guards. They held him bound with chains. Whichever area of your life has been held bound, I don't care whichever area it is, today the chains shall be broken in the name of Jesus. Today the chains shall be broken in the mighty name of Jesus. And they sent monitors, guards, about 16 guards were there to watch over him. There are people here that they have sent monitors to watch over you so that they will limit you, they will restrict you so that you will be held in prison continually. But today all those who are monitoring you, you shall bypass them in the mighty name of Jesus. They will be defeated in the mighty name of Jesus. And this is where we are going. I will read verses 7 to 10 now. And then we'll pray with that. And behold, the angel of the Lord came upon him. Angels will minister to someone this month. Angels will minister to someone this month. And light shined in the prison. And he smote Peter on the side and raised him up, saying, Arise up quickly. And his chains fell off from his hands. Someone's chain is falling like that. And the, chains, and the angel said to him, Guard yourself and bind your sandals. And so he did and said unto him, Cast your garment upon you. Everything you have lost, everything they've taken from you, will be restored this month in the mighty name of Jesus. And he went out and followed him and did not know that it was true what was done. Verse 10. And when they were past the first and the second gates, they came unto the iron gate that leads to the city. And it opened of its own accord, and they went out and passed through the street, and forthwith the angel departed from him. God will liberate someone this month, because it is a month of favor. God will liberate you in the name of Jesus. And I mean, any aspect of your life where you have been held bound, this month, be purposed in your mind that this month, God is setting me free. This month, God is setting me free. This month, God is setting me free. Say to yourself, this month, God is setting me free. This month, God is setting me free. This month, God is setting me free. So say, oh Lord my God, any area of my life where I've been held bound, I decree my liberation now in the mighty name of Jesus. Go ahead and pray that one prayer. Just pray it, then I decree into your life. Just pray it, just pray it, just pray it. Any area of my life where I've been held bound, I decree my liberation now. I decree my liberation now. Every area of my life, any area, any aspect where I've been held bound, be it maritally, be it finance, be it children, whatever area it is that I've been held bound, be it career, I receive my liberation now. In the name of Jesus, it's my month of favor. I receive favor for liberation. 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 So shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Just lift up your hands, 12, 7. I decree this month in the name of Jesus, angels of the Lord will come to your rescue. I said angels of God will come to your rescue. Light will shine on your path in the mighty name of Jesus. Every chain they've used to hold you bound, be loosed now in the name of Jesus. The chains are falling off now. The chains are falling off now. The chains are falling off now. Everywhere your hands have been tied, be liberated now in the name of Jesus. What you have not been able to do since January, receive liberation now in the name of Jesus. Begin to achieve it now in the name of Jesus. Everything that has been taken from you, recover now in the name of Jesus. In seven folds, recover now in the mighty name of Jesus. You have been deprived since last year. What is your rightful possession? Receive it this month in the name of Jesus. Receive it this month in the name of Jesus. 
receive divine guidance, receive divine direction in the mighty name of Jesus. Everyone that has been sent to monitor your life, you will bypass them in the mighty name of Jesus. You are bypassing them in the name of Jesus. You are bypassing them in the name of Jesus. People who have been assigned over your case to sit over your matter, they won't know how you bypass them in the mighty name of Jesus. Angels of God will lead you bypass them in the name of Jesus. Angels of God will lead you to bypass them in the mighty name of Jesus. Doors that have been shut against you so that you can't find your way into your place of breakthrough. Let the doors be miraculously opened in the name of Jesus. Be miraculously opened in the name of Jesus. Be miraculously opened in the name of Jesus. Hear the word of the Lord. You will not struggle. You will not struggle. The doors, angels will open it of their own accord. In the mighty name of Jesus. People you don't know will call upon you. They will call for your services. They will call for you to help them. They will call for your wisdom. They will call for your ideas. They will call for your blessing. In the name of Jesus. Your blessing will be so great. Nations will request for it. Nations will request for it. International doors are opened. Blessings you can't fathom are opened. This month is a month of contact for you. It's a month of connection for you. It's a month of lifting for you. It's a month of divine visitation. It's a month of lifting. It's a month that you defeat your foes in the mighty name of Jesus. Anyone who rise against you this month, they will fall for your sake. Death cannot visit you. You are not permitted to be wasted. You are not permitted to be arrested. You are not permitted to be harassed. You are not permitted to be imprisoned. You are not permitted to be molested. You are not permitted to be assaulted. In the name of Jesus, you cannot have accidents. It is well with you in the city. It is well with you outside of the city. This month is a month of testimony. So shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name, it is done. Amen. Celebrate your testimony in the name of Jesus. Amen. You can do better than that. You can do like you do for the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. For all you have done, I will sing hallelujah. For all you are doing, I will sing hallelujah. For all you have done, I will sing hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Praise the Lord. As we have decreed this morning, so shall it be. So shall it be. The agenda of the wicked for you and your family and for us together as a church in this month of November shall perish in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Let's take our call to worship very quickly. Okay, one to go. If you turn away your foot from the Sabbath, I'm doing your pleasure on my holy day. I call the Sabbath a delight. The holy day of the Lord honor him. I shall honor him. Not doing your own ways, not finding your own play, not speaking your own words. Then you shall delight yourself in the Lord. And I will cause you to ride on the high hills of the heavens and feed you with the heritage of Jacob, your father. The mouth of the Lord has spoken. Amen. Let's take our confession together. I want to go this Sabbath and receive divine capacity to speak the right words and refrain from my own ways. Decree this Sabbath a delight for me and my family. In all my ways, I honor, acknowledge the Lord God Almighty. I am going places I have never been. I am going higher to prosper and be in hell. I will live long because God said so. It is said to. Hallelujah. Let's come ourselves to church this morning. Announce to somebody, this month is your month of favor. It's your month of lifting. You will live long. Prophesy the light of somebody. Wake one another in the name of Jesus. My hands are filled. My hands are filled. With the blessings of the Lord. With the blessings of the Lord. My hands are filled. My hands are filled. With the blessings of the Lord. With the blessings of the Lord.
shall it be in Jesus name we want to take our hymn now SDAH 111 from 111 SDAH 111 service today and at the same time welcome us to the month of November uh, on behalf of Jesus Christ the head of the church that this month of November shall be your month of testimony your month of pleasant surprises in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ Everything that you've been believing God for since the beginning of this year that is yet to reach your hand, in this month of November, you will possess them. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. This is Victory Sanctuary Seventh-day Adventist Church. A church commissioned by God to raise kingdom-minded leaders that will raise other leaders in the kingdom. Raise other leaders in the kingdom. So if you are watching with us for the first time today, you are in the right place. Uh, I want you to feel at home and be comfortable. Towards the end of this service, we'll be welcome, welcoming you and recognizing you officially in our own way. Hallelujah. God has a word for us today. And I want us to be sensitive and be in the spirit. John said, I was in the spirit on the last day, and the spirit entered into me and set me uh, upon 
my feet. It was an encounter for John. In the name of Jesus, today will be an encounter in your life. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. So let's be in the spirit. Let the spirit of God dominate your mind, dominate our lives. If it means to switch off your phone, you can do that. Avoid distractions. If you need anything, speak to the ushers. They can lead you uh, and get whatever it is that you uh, want, want hand it over to you. Hallelujah. It is my prayer today, in the name of Jesus, that the blessing that God has packaged for you as a person in this service today will not pass you by. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. If that prayer is for you, say louder amen in the name of Jesus Christ. So shall it be. Join me now as a welcome special like counter for the administration. I 
just wanna say, I just wanna say that I love you more than anything. Love me in your arms. Me so you are my shelter from the storm. When all my friends went on, you were right there all alone. You were right there all alone. The love of God is unquestionable. The Bible says that Jonah was sailing along with all other people. But suddenly there was a reason why he needed to be thrown into the ocean. The love of God that preserves more than every other thing. Preserved Jonah from being out by any other thing or being digested by the fish. The Bible says why we are yet sinner. Christ came and died for us. I could remember when I lost my parents. The both parents had gone and there was nowhere to look up to. And God spoke to me that my son, I have the ability to play a dual role. I said, God, I don't understand what you mean by dual role. He said, I can play the role of a father and a mother at the same time. I don't care where it seems as if you have lost your father, you have lost your mother, you have lost your siblings, and there is nobody to play that part. God is saying I can be a father and at the same time be a mother. At the same time, pray as a part, as a sister for you. God is saying when you need comfort, I will be available. God is saying when you need help, I'm here available. God is saying when you are drowned in the seas of life, my help is available to bring you out. God is saying when all hope is lost, like Peter, I'm bringing you forth. God is saying like a woman with the issue of blood, you have a helmet and everyone has rejected you. God is saying by his stripe, you are healed. Speak the wall because the love of God preserved you. The love of God watch over you. The love of God encourages you. The love of God leads you out from the dungeon of nothing to the land of glory. 
Jonah was to be destroyed for the preservation of the love of God watch over him though weeping may endure for a night I speak to the love of God joy comment in the morning you are not giving up yet because the Lord of God preserve the Lord of God protect the Lord of God guide the Lord of God lives over I don't care what men have said concerning that situation it seems you are giving up it seems you have lost hope it seems you have given up strength but Christ in me the hope of glory somebody don't give up yet there is hope for you there is strength for you there is glory for you when men say there is a casting down somebody shout the Lord said there is a lifting let the lifting of the Lord over your life over your marriage over your business over your children financially you are down but God is saying I will supply your needs according to my riches in glory I see somebody moving from new dimension I see somebody rising up I see somebody shining the love of God turns you from an ordinary to an ordinary finally Joseph has been to to go and die but suddenly the Lord appeared from the love of God he took him from prison to palace I want to decree you are going from prison to palace by the love of God from prison to palace from limitation to lifting from nowadays to up I see you turning I see the glory of God I see the love of God shared abroad the Bible says the gospel of the Lord that he gave you whosoever believe in him shall not perish somebody you are not going to perish you are not going to die lift your ball so I'm coming out 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 oh Jesus That's a very powerful statement. To love God more than just anything uh, is a powerful statement. Do you really love God more than anything? Somebody say yes from the back. I hope you meant it. If he asks you for anything, can you give him anything? You better be careful while you are saying yes. If I see your mouth say yes, I will call you. You are trying to be bold. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Glory be to God. I just pray that we will truly love the Lord and be ready to sacrifice for him at all times. I pray God will bring us to that point in Jesus' name. Thank you very much, Special Counter Band. This is our month, yes. Yeah. Thank you very much. This is our month of fulfillment of purpose. Uh, I just want to encourage someone that you don't need to lose hope. Maybe you've had that plan for the past 20 years and you are not seeing it at all. God will begin to bring it to pass in the mighty name of Jesus. Don't lose hope. God is a faithful God. Uh, we count our own time according to the time of life, but God is not bound by our time. He just gave us time so that we can number our days, times and seasons, a year, a week, a month, and all that. He said, in fact, he said, a day is like a thousand years. Is that not how the scripture said? A day is like a thousand years in God's sight. It's, uh, that's difficult to comprehend. One day, after you have counted 1,000 years, it's just like a day in his own sight. So that's why by our, own, by our own reckoning, it doesn't reckon with time the way we reckon with time because it's not bound by time. So what you think you've not been able to achieve in 20 years, he can give it to you in one day. 
that's, that's the way God is. He was telling them, though it was a spiritual, uh, uh, it has spiritual connotations, but he was saying that, bring down this temple and I will raise it up in three days. He was talking about his body, but they couldn't understand because it took them 46 years to build that temple. They said, are you crazy? It took us 46 years and you say we should destroy it and you will raise it up in three days. Uh, so, but God can do it. If he says, let there be, and there was, that temple, he can destroy it and say, let there be, even though he was talking about his own body. So that's the power of God. And I see the purpose of someone that God is saying concerning your vision, that let there be that vision in the mighty name of Jesus, and it will surely come to pass. So this is our month of favor. And so our purposes, our visions as a church, as individuals, uh, they will begin to materialize in the mighty name of Jesus. And um, to kickstart this for us, I'm excited. Is someone that I, I like listening to. I've listened to him about two or three times. Uh, not on this podium directly anyway, but uh, he, his hand is, is blessed, he's anointed, he's filled with the spirit of the Lord. And I'm trusting God as we allow God to speak to us this morning we will be richly blessed in the mighty name of Jesus. So join me as we welcome Dr. Prince Igwe as a minister to us this morning. Power. Praise the Lord. 